Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems, and we're going to talk today about the TYT TH9800. This question came up through tech support the other day, and so we investigated a little bit to find out just what was going on and to clear up some details about this radio. It has to do with tone mode. It works the same way on the 220 radio as it does on the 440 radio. This radio has tone, tone squelch, DCS, and we have just added user tone and user tone squelch. Because while there are two CTCSS columns that follow tone mode, they are not independent of each other. They do not work together to give you split tones. User tone is kind of a neat thing. Instead of having to use just the tones that are available, like this 218.1, I could set it to user tone and set it to 217.8. In the radio, the 217.8 will be used on this channel, and a standard tone will not be. Now, the warning for you, for any of you that are new to this, there are not many radios that this will talk to because the radios use standard tones and not just a user tone that can be entered. But if you have two TYT TH9800s, this could be very useful for you. You could customize your tone frequencies using tone squelch and really block other signals from coming in. Always remember that just because you're blocked and quiet doesn't mean somebody else can't hear you. Somebody else on your same frequency with no tones turned on can hear you just fine. Remember, radio is not private, but you can make it a little quieter and easier to listen to. So I set up a channel. I set my tone to tone and CTCSS is active and I pick the value that's given in my information. I set my tone to tone squelch, and I set my value. This radio can only use one CTCSS value to both transmit to the repeater and to block the audio of incoming signals. You don't get two of them, although there are two columns here. Yeah, I set user tone. And then I can type in my or I set user tone squelch and I can type in my it's got to be three and one. If you type something into user CTCSS that is a standard value, the program will convert it to standard value. And when, when you read back from the radio, tone mode will be set to tone squelch and CTCSS will appear in the CTCSS column. But you can enter it that way if you want. Now, for the real crux of this matter, this won't work. The radio will not block incoming signals for this tone squelch or this tone squelch with the way it's set up now. You must reach over to squelch mode and set it to CTCSS DCS. The same for this one, CTCSS DCS. Without that turned on, 
the squelch side of your tone option, the one that blocks the incoming signal, does not work. It is not activated. Those two go together. Don't forget that on this radio, for a tone squelch, there are three things you must set. One is tone mode. One is the CTCSF's value. And one is squelch mode. The same is true if you're setting up a DCS. Again, you have one value, both going to the repeater and coming back from, and you set squelch mode to CTCSS DCS because without that, you will not block your incoming signals properly. So that covers it on this radio. I hope it helped. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.